There you go, boy. Choked it. My name is Will Davis Jr. I'm a Elite Series rookie. Um, we're at stop number five at Lay Lake. A little beaner. During the shad spawn, um, I like throwing a Spro popping frog white, and then I like throwing a Davis Beast swim jig with a fighting frog on it. And then after that, I like fishing brush piles and ledges with a uh, Davis shaky worm. Um, and that's also a little wheel shaky head, three sixteenths, and that's my favorite color on uh, the Coosa River. Coosa River is a current based lake. It really fishes in like sections. Starting off at the lower end around Paint Creek area all the way up to probably Spring Creek, Blue, Blue Springs and that area. And all the way up to actually Cedar Creek, you know, uh, there's a lot of standing timber. Um, it's a little bit clear. I like that there. The mid range up in here from you beeswax to probably the steam plant. You know, there's a lot of ledges and there's still some timber out there, but not near as much as, you know, the down part of the lake. Oh God, biggest one got off. Do you see him come off? That's a three pounder. And then you got from probably steam plant all the way up to the dam, you know, you got more current oriented fish. Yes, uh, sir. That's really where all the big spots Good. are. Big. Any rock piles, and you know they actually, you know they get eat behind any type of eddy that they can get around. Real fortunate that I live pretty close to here. It really fishes in like sections. It's gonna be a grind of a tournament. The fish are all stages right now. Some are still spawning. Grim beds are out. I think we're going to be in for a treat. This is going to be a uh, tough, uh, tough event if you can't capitalize on the shad spawn early. I think that I have to fish some history, and then I also have to, uh, you know, look for new stuff. Like I look for a lot of brush piles this week. Besides that, you know, I've looked for spawners this week, and I found two or three of them. But um, like I said, we're, we're missing, you know, that deal by about two to three weeks. So it'll be interesting. We're currently under a fog delay here at Beeswax Park. Um, it's set in real thick. Um, it's actually breaking just a little bit, so maybe they'll let us go pretty soon. Um, I've been catching my fish later today, so this fog's really not going to hurt me. Um, I've been catching all my fish in the current, and I just hope they're there when I get there today. Uh, if I can catch me 14, 15 pounds a day, I, I feel like I got a good shot to win this thing. If I can catch 16 pounds tomorrow. So we're going to go out there and give it all we got. A little old keeper. Fat though. So I live in a town called Silicaga. It's uh, actually as a crow flies, it's probably 15 miles from here. And my dad owns a bait business, Davis Bait Company. And he introduced me to this sport actually on this lake in Cedar Creek when I was uh, just barely you know, old enough to walk, you know. That's how you know when it See how you stick that on there? It don't stick. Like this one right here, stick it on there, she sticks. That's what you got. Original shaky worm, William Davis. That's my bad, he, uh, he came up with that deal about 35 years ago. And it's a fish catching machine. See this current swings out, hits that bank and turns back in here. And it's real slack right here, so a spotted bass bed right here. You just can't see them. You just have to fish blind, kind of like you're at, you know, Florida. There's probably 50 bass sitting right here. You just can't see them on your forward-facing sonar because so much current and stuff. Even right here, you know, it's so shallow. We progressed fishing tournaments on this lake and and uh, started fishing the federation and qualified, you know, through the national championship. But I yes, give. Sir. Uh, all the credit to God and my yes, parents sir. and uh, this lake right here. That's what you want right there. Shake your head. David, shake your head right in the mouth. Whew. I got three and three quarter right there. Generation is key on the Coosa River. Without generation, it makes fish just suspend. And uh, it really don't affect them in the morning time. 
Yes, sir. That's number five, right? Number five. It was a good day today. You know, it was like, it was actually kind of tough. I only caught six fish all day, but I probably got 14 pounds. You know, I just got to uh, catch them better tomorrow if I go and give a shot at winning this thing, Big you know. Spot. Like a small mouth, don't they? You can't horse these jokers. It hurts your feelings. Yes, sir. Oh, pretty. Pretty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That fish right there gave me some confidence. I told you I just felt it, too. Like, I just felt like it was about to go down. That's the best damn bait that there is, period. Usually when you catch one right here, you catch more. There you go. What in the world? He didn't get it good. Slapped it. Tell you, dude, they're weird today. I'm sitting pretty good going into tomorrow, I think. I don't know, but I feel like I am. So we'll uh, we'll go out there and grind it tomorrow and see how we do. Will Davis Jr. is in second place. I, I feel good about it. Um, I got some brush piles I ain't hit yet and some other deals and I'm gonna have to do that if I got a shot to win. So I feel good about it. If I can catch 18 to 20 today, I feel like it, it'll be good enough. These guys are the best in the world and they, they show it every day. Well, you're one of them and we love having you on the Elite yes, Series. We feel like we're the We're gonna catch us some swamp donkeys today, I hope. This week I've been getting out here real early, right after the time that's legal for us to get out here and just running in different areas where I've had history in Shad's phones. And I've really started doing that, you know, every morning for about an hour. Or, and then after that, it's, it's done with. So with us launching at 6.30, it's really going to put a damper on that. After that, I've just been scanning for brush, you know, and I know with this area that has a lot of brim beds in it all over, you know, different areas. And man, they're just not on it right now and uh, I don't know why, but that tells me them fish are just hung up in between right now. Yes, sir. Shut through spawn and that tail. Pretty one. But it felt good to catch that one. It's been a grind this morning. <clears throat> she had a little leverage on me that time. Though. You see how to catch up to her? And they ain't been biting until later in the day, so. And the brush pile probably ain't better to later in the day too, so you just gotta go pick your poison, you know? A little trough right there, it's got a couple big boulders in there. And without current, this time of year, it makes the lake very tough. A little keeper at least. world to be. Uh, my dad, you know, that, that's, I want to win it for him more than anything because I wouldn't be here where I'm at if it wasn't for him sacrificing uh, and, my, and my mom too. And so it made the world to me for, for, uh, for them and for my wife and little girl and for me too. One bust right there, you see him? He turned around on There she goes, I see her now. about that, baby? How about that? Hook in the hand and everything. 
You know how to get them out? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. Yeah. In the mouth. Yes. Boom. Praise Jesus. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Thank Gandhi. Oh, wide eye. Thank you, Martin Mendez. I talked to him yesterday before I weighed in, and uh, me and him have been fishing in this creek practice, and uh, he said, they still a three-pounder on bed in there. I just, she'll bite. I just run out of time. What's the most important thing your dad's ever taught you about fishing? You know, that's a good question. Because he's taught me everything I know. Uh, the most important thing about is respect others. That's probably the most important thing besides techniques and things is to respect others. And uh, I'm not the guy to ever cut anybody off. I'm a guy that's gonna ask you. I'm not gonna cast in front of you and then ask you. I'm just that type of guy. Very grateful he raised me uh, up in this sport. It was a grind, man. I don't think it's gonna be enough, but I tell you what. Gave it all I had, and uh, it's meant to be. It's meant to be, you know. I just—it's uh, been a very emotional week. I've been sick all week, and then the fishing ain't been easy. And you know, it's what you live for, just for just for opportunities to win a tournament like this. So it made the world for me and my family if I could pull this off. He needs 11 pounds, six ounces to take this title. Any less, and it's Will Davis's 11 pounds, three ounces! 11 pounds, three ounces! Will Davis Jr. is an elite series champion! Bass Nation National Champions battle it out and five events into his Elite Series career. Will Davis Jr. wins the Whataburger Bassmaster Elite at Lay Lake. Marathon Peak Performance.